everybody, this is Joe. And Helen. From Blowing the Stink Off, obviously. And uh, we've been in our camper now for about two full seasons of, of camping time. And we wanted to go over a few of the things that we found that we really like about our, our 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2204S camper. It's a 24 foot long camper with twin beds. Um, we're going to go over a few of the things that we like and some of the things that we don't like after being on quite a few camping trips with it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, enjoy the show. So this is our bedroom with the twin beds, which we love. Um, it does come with an insert that you could put between the two beds and make it into a king size bed, but we prefer um, the twin size beds just the way it is, so we don't use the insert. Um, so far, the bedroom area has been fine. Um, I know a lot of people have issue with the mattresses that come with the campers. We sleep fine on these mattresses. They're actually very comfortable, we think, so we haven't had an issue with that. Um, the storage space above the beds is great for, um, that's where we keep our clothes, and it's plenty big for, um, you know, a three or four, maybe five night trip, but I think anything longer than a week, maybe, um, we probably would be tight on space, but it's fine. It works fine. Um, I can't think of any issues in the bedroom at all. We love that it has the USB to charge all our stuff at night. That's very convenient. Um, we love all the windows. You know, we have big window on the back and then we have the two windows near each bed and we love that. It lets in a ton of light during the day and we find it super cozy. The curtains work out perfectly. I'm a very early riser and Joe is not. So in the morning when I get up, I just close the curtains and I can come out into the living area and do my thing while he's still asleep. So, I mean, the bedroom's been working out fine. We love it. We don't really have any issues with the bedroom. So the dinette has worked out pretty well for us. We wanted a dinette. We didn't want a couch um, in our camper. We wanted a place to sit down and have dinner and, and play games or whatever, you know, in case the weather didn't cooperate outside. So the dinette's been nice. The storage is nice up above. We uh, keep, you know, all of our DVDs up here. And we have our dishes over in this other one that everything fits no problem at all. We have these drawers, which are very good and deep for good storage. And there's one under this seat. And there's one under this seat as well. So that's very nice. Stanley stays under there. That's his cozy spot where he takes his naps usually. So the one negative about the dinette area is this table. And this table has been kind of awkward. I have a couple complaints about it. it it's, it's difficult to handle and fold up. It's kind of heavy. The, the mechanism down below is a little bit awkward when you're folding it up. I think if you check back at our other video uh, our first video where we did the big review, you'll see the, the troubles we had with the table and by some miracle I was able to do it the first try. Helen has a hard time. I do can't do it. I can't fold it. Yeah, she just can't do it. It's, it's too, too awkward heavy. for her and yeah. too heavy. The other thing too is if you get a shot of your tea over here, this table, if I sit in the dinette and I put my arms down, you see how that tea rocked back and forth? It's very shaky. Very, very shaky. So the table is very unstable. And I'm not exactly sure what it is, if it's because it's on carpet or what. But uh, I've, you gotta be really careful when you're sitting down to eat inside. Uh, but other than that, everything else in the dinette's been great. The lighting's good, the cabinets are good. The seats, uh, the seats are comfortable, but they're a little cheap. And when you sit down, you get little air pockets in there that, that, that are kind of weird. And if you need to get up in one of the storage cabinets, you may need to kneel on here like this and get whatever you need to do. But what happens is, when you do that, you see this crack here. So I did that when I went to kneel on it because it's just thin, thin wood here. And so we had to take another piece of plywood and stick it under there to support my, my heft when I 
get on there. So uh, we didn't do that on Helen's side. She's not as heavy as I am, and so she didn't break it. <laughs> no. But they're very, very delicate. And you know, if you're if you're a big person, then they're very, very delicate. So if you're a big person, you want to be cautious when you're sitting on these chairs. So here we are in the kitchen, and um, I like the kitchen. If you look back at our first review video, you'll see that I was um, dead set against two small sinks. Um, I always prefer one larger sink. It's kind of hard to get in there with, especially like pots and stuff, to wash them. But I've come up with a method that works for me. So what I do now is I just put all the dirty dishes in one side, and wash them and then I put them in the next side to rinse them and then I dry them immediately and put them right away because as you can see there's really no room on the countertop for a dish drainer so that's I've, I've gotten used to that and it's kind of working for me so I don't hate the two little sinks as much as I did in the beginning um, you know the microwave is great we like the microwave Except for that light yeah that light at night is uh, bothers Joe yeah if that light is bright you need to like block it out yeah um, the hood cover and the vent works beautifully. The lights all work nicely. Um, the three burners is working out great for us. Did we use the oven? We might have used the oven once. And it worked. It wasn't, you know, it was fine. Um, we have lots of storage over here. I used to use this one for dish detergent. And then we have silverware and, like, um hand towels and tablecloths and then we have our junk drawer. This extra table here is great, you know, for added counter space. We used it this morning. We, it was really cold this morning outside so we cooked breakfast inside so we used this this morning. And we, had, we had to repair that. Yeah, this actually came loose um, like after our first trip out I think last year. So Joe repaired it with some heavy duty glue and it's been fine since then. Um, also, um, I guess this is part of the kitchen area, is this closet. Um, this can be used as either a wardrobe or, you know, if you take the shelves out, there's hooks up here where you can hang clothes. Um, we generally don't bring clothes with us that need to be hung up while we're camping. So we use it like this. And, and I think you have to, if, if we just use this as a wardrobe, where we're going to put our pots and pans and all our utensils and our baggies and, you know, we keep everything in here. We have a laundry bag in the bottom, and that's where we put our dirty clothes as we wear them. And that's, you know, I kind of wish we had a space for um, dirty laundry other than in there, because it's not really convenient. I mean, it's a very small camper, so for what it is, you know, the storage is pretty good. But that's one of the things I wish we had. I wish we had a separate area for um, dirty clothes. Uh, and then we have the pantry over here, which is where we keep all our food. And that works out perfectly. It's plenty big for all our food and snacks and stuff for our trip. Works perfectly. And then the refrigerator and freezer are very spacious, extremely spacious. Um, when you're traveling, you know, you have to close this here, the door, and then you have to put this over to lock it, which is great. But what happened, I finally got smart last trip. What would happen every single time is while we were traveling, these shelves would pull out and food would fall behind. And it was a big mess. Every time we got to camping, we'd, we'd have a big mess in there. So I just took some clear tape temporarily. I don't know how we're gonna fix it permanently. I mean, that may be the permanent solution, but I just took some tape and taped the shelves in to where they're supposed to be. And it's been fine this trip and last trip. Nothing pulled out and everything stayed the way it's supposed to while we were driving. So that worked good. Freezer too. We don't have anything in there but frozen corn, but very spacious for a camper-sized refrigerator and freezer. So we're very happy with that. So all in all, I think we're very happy with the kitchen area. So the TV area, the TV itself is a nice TV. I think it's a 27 inch TV. Uh, it's HD TV, you know, you get good resolution, you get good images when you're watching uh, high quality TV cable input or if you have a DVD. Um, I mentioned in our original review video, you can go back, I'll include links to the videos we talked about down below, so you take a look at those. Uh, but I mentioned the two remotes last time. So we have one for the television, 
one for the DVD. We mostly figured these out over the last two years, so that's good. We're old. I know it's not <laughs> easy for us. Uh, <laughs> but the bad thing is, is that I can watch television at night from the bed, and I can change channels, and I can, you know, turn the TV on and off, adjust the volume and all that. But if we're watching a DVD, you can watch your DVD, and you can control the volume with this guy or this guy, but when you're done and you want to shut the television off afterwards, you have to get up out of bed because the TV itself is blocking this uh, IRV technologies, which is the DVD player. So what happens is if you're in bed and you're trying to use a remote and you just, the signal just doesn't reach it, you know, you're swinging your arms around trying to get it to work and it just doesn't cut it. So that's a negative here. Other than that, the television system is great. We have speakers built in the ceiling up here. Uh, we have two, one over each bed here and here. And then there's a couple over the kitchen and the dinette. And we have a pair outside and the sound quality is great and uh, they give us nice volume. So if the AC is on, uh, which can tend to make a lot of noise, we can overcome that by turning these speakers on and cranking the volume up a little bit. So thumbs up on that. Okay, so finally we have the bathroom um, for a tiny camper I mean we have a very small camper for a small camper it's a great bathroom it um, the shower is pretty large um, you know we fit in there we're not tiny people and we fit in there just fine um, the medicine cabinet is great it's got lots of room to store all our stuff okay uh, I do not like, I have never liked the holes in this little shelf here. I guess you're supposed to put a cup in here. And who puts an open cup of water puts in a their cup? bathroom? Exactly, like we're going to share a cup of water after we brush <laughs> our teeth. That's disgusting, <laughs> exactly. But, um, so that's useless. There's no, you know, just, it's, you can't put anything there now, so it's useless. And then these here, um... Now, nowadays, I can't find a toothbrush that fits in there, or if I do, I found these toothbrushes that fit in the holes, and they fall right out. So, um, you know, the toothbrushes of, of today that have the big giant handles, grips, don't fit in there at all, and the ones that do fit in fall straight through. So that's useless. I, I wish it was just a plain shelf. Um, I think, did this come with a toilet paper holder? No. No, it didn't come with a toilet paper holder, so we found this toilet paper holder online. Um, Amazon. On Amazon. $10. Yeah, it was only $10, and it works fine. We just hung it over the, the cabinet door so that it's within our reach. Okay, there's a little bit of, of uh, storage space in here. I hung up a little hook inside so that I could hang my blow dryer from it because there's really no good place to store that. And then we just have a little bucket with brushes and odds and ends in there. Nosy Stanley. Okay, and then we have this tall cabinet here where we keep all our cleaning supplies up there. Paper goods, paper towels, tissues, toilet paper, all that stuff. And then all our beach towels um, go down there. So there's plenty of storage. Uh, I think we have a porcelain toilet. It's porcelain, right? Yep. Works just fine. We don't have any issue with it. The only issue we have in this bathroom is the floor space. Because even though it's plenty big enough to take a shower or do what you have to do on the toilet, when you get out of the shower, you have like six inches of room. Look at Stanley. He's tiny. He barely fits in there. To dry yourself off and get dressed. And when the door's closed, it feels, it feels so tight in there. So I wish there was just a little tiny in bit more... And the shower doors, space. the shower doors close uh -huh. unless you prop them up, prop them open. So, like without here, this here, you, this guy usually slides shut like this, and so we're always fighting. You yeah. know, your elbows will bump into that. And right. It's just a little tight in the bathroom. Right. It doesn't stay open uh, for some reason. It did that time, but it usually doesn't. You open this door and this door, and see it comes closing. Yeah, so you're fighting with it. It won't stay open to give us more elbow room. So, it's a nice bathroom. I don't hate it. I just wish there were a tiny little bit more room in there to dry off so um, what I've done, and get dressed. What I've done 
is I've taken this bath towel, and when I did in here, I That's bath, bath towel. Mat. I'm sorry, the bath mat, not uh -huh. the bath towel. I put it up there. To keep it open. But I'm six foot tall, 250 pounds. And there's some other YouTubers out there that do prime pooping positions. I'm not going <laughs> to do that. But the door would be here. And, you know, it's there's enough room to do what you got to do. It's not luxurious, You're but You're not going to be fine. reading the New York Times. No. You know, there's not enough room to spread a newspaper apart. But. Right. But for what it is, it's, it's fine. It works fine for us. Okay, uh, we're back outside now. We're finishing up this, this two-year summary review of our Rockwood Mini Light 2204 camper. And here's a, a wider shot of it so you can see it. It's very windy out today. Um, really gusty, actually. We're very. It's not even 60 degrees. It's really quite chilly. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about outside was the awning itself. And I don't know if you can see it over here, but up above me, you see those stains up there. So those are water stains, and we never ever put this this awning in wet. You know, we want it to dry out because we don't want mold to grow underneath it, and we don't want to have any problems, uh, you know, with stuff happening over the winter. So we've we've been very careful, and even though it, it's rolled up and dry every trip you know when we come back from every trip um, we still get these these water stains on here and we've tried to remove them with like magic erasers and and bleach and wiping it down and trying to really do a good job cleaning it off but uh, nothing seems to remove it so this awning is probably going to have to be replaced uh, relatively soon I don't imagine it's going to look very nice and we want our stuff to look good so that's going to cost us, you know, a thousand dollars or something to replace that, and that's a lot of money. One of the things you may remember from one of our previous videos was uh, uh, we were up at Saco River Family Camping Area up in uh, North Conway, New Hampshire. Today we're at Pine Acres Camping Resort in Oakham, Mass. Very nice campground. We're going to have a, a review for that of this campground for you uh, very shortly, if if it's not already out. Be on the lookout for it. But if you remember our trip up at Saka River, we got locked out of the RV. So I'm not quite sure how that happened, but we were uh, we were up there on our very first day and for some reason the door locked and we didn't have our keys and we had no way to get in. I had to use a screwdriver to pry it open. So one of the upgrades that I did was to put this RV lock on here. And it was a super, super easy install. It was four screws and a couple batteries. Uh, you, you punch in a code and it electronically opens and closes and so now we don't need our keys anymore to get in and out we just have to remember our code it's four digits uh, it was a really good purchase very happy with that so uh so that's kind of our likes and dislikes so far uh overall what do you think Overall, I love this camper. We, we did look at a ton of campers before we, we bought this we one. a lot of time. And I still um, think we made the best choice. We, we do love this camper. There's just little things that we wish were um, a little different. Yeah, but yeah. You can't, I guess you can't have everything, right? Right. We, we did spend a lot of money on this because, you know, we bought it at the peak of COVID. And it was uh, on the lot. Yeah, but it was on the lot. We didn't have to wait six right. or nine months, and, and we had the money. So. Right. That's, uh, you know, we got what we wanted and we're, we were very happy because we did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos, uh, and this one did the trick. Besides the few little nitpicks that we have, um, this has been a great camper for two seasons. Right. We're going to have it for at least three or four more years, maybe more. Uh, we might upgrade it someday to, to a Class A um, when I retire, but uh, that's a long ways off. So until then... We'll have this camper, and we are, we're going to enjoy it every year. Mm -hmm. So we will see you next time. I'm blowing the stink off. I'm blowing the stink off. <laughs> I didn't know what you wanted me to say. That's good enough. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>